uh, Frank Martin and Javante Davis uh, supposedly sparred in uh, Floyd's gym and they got a little, hey, hey, got a little intense in there, man. Heard that they, 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 they almost had to take off the gloves. They had to, they, had to, they junk in the street. You know what I'm talking about? Right here. What's popping, Carmi? Keep it straight, street. They almost took it out to the street, but it, it got separated. Uh, apparently, Frank Martin got the little bit, little bit of better of, of Javante Davis. Bullshit! Bullshit! But see, these days, everybody got the best of Javante Davis and sparring. And it seems like every time we hear a sparring story, is that they got the best of Tank Davis. So, hey. <laughs> From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, NG Empress. Got to get money back with engineers to the streets, boxing podcast. Y'all know what it is. And we here for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. The doctor's in the house. And today, we are here to talk about none other than Javante. I mean, hold on. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Abdul Tank Wahi, man. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Like the notification is saying right there, man. Hit that bell as, as well so you get a five drop another YouTube video banger. And um, yeah, so uh, we're here to talk about his next opponent right there. As you can see, they uh, I'm not going to say that they announced it. You know, I, I dropped that um, YouTube video a couple of weeks back, and it was a talk about um, Jose Rayo Valenzuela. You know, there's a lot of rumblings about him fighting, fighting him, but then there was also some rumblings about this this one it's a new development but it's not really a new development because right now it's gaining more traction but it's always been there it's just getting a little hot right now you know what i'm saying it's been cooking a little bit and that's not other than frank martin you know frank martin man out of uh errol spencer's camp you know what i'm saying 18 and 0 young man you know undefeated out there man good dude i, I know a lot of y'all have seen him um having that little confrontation mini confrontation um during the interview with i believe it was fight hype uh when he ran to Keyshawn davis they had a little you know they traded words and you know friendly bad if you will you know what i'm saying uh, uh yeah so it, it was nothing nothing outrageous or nothing crazy you know what i'm saying or, or 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 something that was unfamiliar to the realm of boxing you know so um but yeah so then frank marm give it give you all a brief little background he's a good fighter slick fighter uh strong fighter uh he has a dc he has, he has a pretty good chin you know he leads me to believe he has a good chin uh decent power you know he's not gonna knock you out one shot but you know accumulation of punches will get you out of there you know but um he you know, he looks pretty good in all of his fights he has, he has showed signs of being an elite level or at least have an elite potential you know elite level boxing skill potential um albeit against people that aren't necessarily elite as far as opposition goes you know what i'm saying his his opposition has been kind of uh, i'm not gonna say lackluster it hasn't been bad but it hasn't really been good there's no there's no household names on there no mainstream names on there you know what i'm saying but he's been through some tough fights um his last fight i believe he fought um he won that by unanimous decision. Obviously, he's like I say, he's under, he's undefeated, so he won, and he won it unanimous, unanimously, of course. But he didn't look the best. He didn't look the best in that fight. I actually saw that fight. He didn't look the best. Um, I believe he dropped his opponent in the twelfth round. Or was, he, he was forced to take a knee or something like that in the final round. I remember that. But he won by decision. Like I say, he didn't look the best, but he definitely won convincingly. You know, it was never never shaky like in in that regard. But I think a lot of people will be um. Will be excited because <laughs> you know it's a it's, it's, it's a it's a quote unquote slick fighter, right? So he, he's a pretty slick fighter, of course, with Frank Martin. So it, it, it poses another threat or another challenge to uh, Javante Tank Davis, and, a, and of course, you know, like I said, um, oh I, oh no, I, I didn't say it. So also as well, those you've been keeping up is um, they have they have a little bit of lore, they have a little back backstory. Uh, Frank Martin and Javante Davis uh, supposedly sparred in uh, Floyd's gym, and they got a little hey. Hey, got a little intense in there, man. Heard that they, 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 they almost had to take off the gloves. They had to, they had to, they junk in the street. You know what I'm talking about? Right here. What's popping, Carmi? Keep it straight, street. They almost took it out to the street, but it, it, it got separated. Uh, apparently, Frank Martin got the little bit, little bit of better of of Javante Davis. But see, these days, everybody got the best of Javante Davis in sparring. And it seems like every time we hear a sparring story, is that they got the best of Tank Davis. So, hey, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know what to believe anymore, but you know that's what they say. You know, and and, and hey, anybody can get got his boxes. It's a sport of boxing when you fight uh, the, these these high level combatants, man. Of course it's gonna happen, man. Some days not today, but um, Jose, let's go on to Jose Rayo Venezuela. I I am confident. I don't now. These are just reports, but I am confident that is is gonna be either one of these two for Javante's uh, next opponent. And uh, Jose Rayo Venezuela, just in case you're unfamiliar with him, uh, he has uh, two losses, one to Edwin De La Santos. You know Edwin De La Santos won that Foster Shakur Stevenson. Um, yeah, he, he he looked terrible. Know your fucking place, trash. A lot of people give him a pass because we expect a lot of us out of Shakur Stevenson, but he was he was Shakur Stevenson's dancing partner. So Shakur Stevenson looked bad, and Edward De La Santos lost. And and, and Shakur Stevenson was supposed to be uh, uh, fighting with one hand. He lost to the man with one hand, so he looked extra bad. You know what I'm saying? So they both look bad, in my opinion. I don't know why people are giving Edward De La Santos a, a pass, but they both look bad. But Edward De La Santos got uh, Valenzuela out of there. Uh, he got him out of there with a knockout, and then um. That's Venezuela's one loss, and his other loss came to uh, Chris Colbert. But but it was a it was a close fight, and then Venezuela they had a rematch, and Venezuela got him out of there convincingly. I mean, he knocked him out dev in devastating fashion. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Give me my gut. So uh, Venezuela is good. Matter of fact, dang, they're all southpaw. Frank Martin, Tank Davis. Uh, Tank Wahid and uh, Valenzuela. They're all softballs. That's, uh, that's crazy. Uh, coincidentally, they're all three of them are softballs. I think it's going to be a good fight, but I could imagine that people will be more excited for the Frank Martin one because no disrespect to Valenzuela, his kind of his style is similar to what we've seen Tank fight before. You know what I'm saying? You know they have that they have that uh be, be, they, they have <laughs> that stigma on Tank that he only fights Hispanics, like Hispanic fighters are easy fighters or whatever. But which is not the case. So uh, but you know that's a whole another day for casual. That's a whole another conversation for casual boxing fans. They always make these. We make these blanketed statements and it's not applicable to everybody but i get what they're saying because valenzuela you know he does have the mexican style of fighting you know which comes forward you know throw a hit to take a hit uh give a hit to take a hit and stuff like that and we've seen to, to be fair you know i play devil's advocate we have seen tank fight the similar style before so it's going to seem like another another I, i'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy for tank but it's going to be something that we've seen before something that's no, nothing new really so frank martin people should be excited for this because um it, it's not it's not what we have seen tank fight in recent years you know with frank martin being a little slicker a little quicker hand combinations and stuff like that so we're gonna have, tank is gonna have to show another part of his game assuming he doesn't get frank martin up out of there uh, uh quickly uh and so i say people should be happy with frank martin um and they should i'm excited to see valenzuela as well but i'm just saying that you know the the, the truth of the matter is that i i believe that tank davis will have an easier time against valenzuela and um yeah so people should be happy if he fights frank martin now i will say the caveat with that is of course people will be but it's still not Shakur stevenson Shakur stevenson dang another south paw that's four south paws in a row jeez Shakur stevenson frank martin tank davis and valenzuela damn i'm sorry but uh yeah another south paw is Shakur stevenson but Shakur stevenson is busy in retirement baby so, of course, he can't fight him. That's the cream of the crop. We do want to see Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson, all the boys fight each other. Uh, 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 um, uh, Tio Fuba Lopez, uh, Super Matias, Devin Haiti, all of them fight each other. But right now, you know, uh, Shakur Stevenson is busy in retirement. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he drinking his little margaritas, you know what I'm saying, on, uh, on the beach on his vacation, you know what I'm talking about? And then we got uh, Devin Haney. He's still chasing Tank's ghost. I'm he trying to fight Ryan Garcia, just like he fought just after Tank fought him, just like he fought Gamboa after Tank fought him. So, you know what I'm saying? So, Devin Haney's occupied trying to get, get his dealings and negotiations right with Ryan Garcia again. Um, see if they finally make it this time. Cause I, I would love to see that fight because they have some the history uh, in the amateur ranks going three and three. Uh, actually, I actually have Devin Haney winning that fight uh, pretty easily, too. I like Ryan Garcia, but I think Devin Haney wins that pretty easily. Easily, but we'll see we'll see you never know but uh back back to back to the um topic at hand uh so right now it seems like the other fighters and lomachenko's fighting even lomachenko's fighting cambosis so it seems like everybody else is occupied so i feel like frank martin is um it's, it's a it's a pretty good fight you know what i'm saying it's a pretty good fight um and then uh so and and also talk about the shakur stevenson he's not really retiring y'all stop it man there, there people, i just think he was just frustrated you know because he wanted to fight emmanuel navarrete but then they ordered navarrete to fight somebody else of course he said he wanted lomachenko lomachenko been ducking that, that's that's according to shakur stevenson he wanted frank martin frank martin also ducked him according to uh uh, Shakur Stevenson, which Shakur Stevenson versus Frank Martin would have been dope because it had the big, the little brothers, uh, and the big brothers going against each other. The big brothers being Errol Spence, big brother of Frank Martin, and uh, Terrence Crawford, big brother of Shakur Stevenson. They they fought. Maybe they if they're on the if they're on the uh, if they did have a rematch, which it seems like it's not going to happen. Of course, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford not going to happen. But that'd have been cool to see uh, Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson fight. You know, uh, I'm not saying on the undercard necessarily, but that'd have been cool. That's a cool idea right there. Uh, I heard that, I heard. Um, 
but yeah anyway so hopefully Shakur Stevenson does uh we do see him fight I think he's gonna I don't think he's retiring for I think he's just uh, voices frustration you know how that goes on Twitter and uh yeah man but I think Frank Martin will be a good fight against uh for, for Tank Davis I'm excited to see that I don't know if it's gonna cook up for real but hopefully we'll see man so that's been the rumblings I don't know if it'll come into fruition but I'll be happy about that fight man let me know what y'all think in the comments would y'all be excited for Frank Martin or do you only want to see the best fight the best of cream in the crop which is Tank Davis Devin Haney Sabriel Matias Teofimo Lopez Shakur Stevenson and Ryan Garcia of those you just want to see them fight each other all day and duke it out i, I like to see a little bit you no know, mix up in there of course i would want to get the best of the best but you know a lot of times with promotions and stuff like that it's kind of hard to bring those fights into fruition but hey man i, I would like to see take david they take they take fight uh frank martin i think that's a good that's a good little matchup for i think he wins uh pretty i think he wins convincingly but you know uh, 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 it'll calm people down for at least a little bit you know i think frank martin and Keyshawn davis you know they need to fight you know what i'm talking about <laughs> but of course even Keyshawn davis fight jose Pedraza. so we're gonna see you, man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always don't forget to like the video as well man and hit that subscribe button i really appreciate y'all you know we, we gained a lot of traction with the with the uh in the community man we're growing strong man even though some people are not understanding our videos and our satire and our, and, our, and, our, and, our, and our sarcasm and our wittiness it's all good it's not for everybody but i appreciate y'all rocking me as always I thank God the most, man. And for and always remember, without God, I'm nothing. But with God, I can do anything, man. And I appreciate y'all support along the way. We out. God bless. Peace. We on the up and up, baby. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold. We're about to freeze, but we're Florida boys. Hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.